Hi there, students. Penumbra. Penumbra. Okay, this word means a grey area between two things. It's not very clear. And that's one of the ways we use it. And the second way we use penumbra means something on the edge, the bit around the edge, where it's not clearly defined, the edge of something. So you have the centre of the city and the penumbra that surrounds it, the outskirts. When, where does the city stop? And then we use the, this penumbra as well to talk about a shadowy grey area where things are not very clear. So if you are defining if something is right or wrong, unfortunately most things are not right or wrong. There's this penumbra between the two, this grey area where it's not clear which one it belongs to. Now, I've looked at the dictionaries, a load of dictionaries with this one, and nearly all of them try to avoid these two definitions that I've just given. Um, they all want to give technical definitions. And if, you want, if I want to define penumbra as an astronomer, it's easy. But w we use penumbra to talk about a shadowy area. Yeah, um, it's not clear um, if it belongs to one thing or another. So uh, there's a quotation that I, I, I got that I, I quite liked. Um, that, um, yes, uh, if, if we are all um, compliant and uh, do everything we're told, this is a penumbra of existence, so a shadowy existence. Um, okay, so it's effectively talking about a shadow now. Um, if you look at a picture, a good picture, you, have, you can see the object and then you have shading. And the penumbra is the shading that goes on uh, a picture. And the shading of light and dark is what makes um, a picture a good picture. Um, so, yes, um, he was always in the penumbra of his brother, in the shade, in the, uh, on the outside area. Yeah? Um, Law, one of the problems with laws is it's very difficult to define things exactly. And lawyers end up arguing about the penumbra. Yes, yeah, so something that covers, something that surrounds. There was a penumbra of secrecy um, associated with this project. Um, a penumbra of sombre dignity came over his... Uh, reputation. Okay, so this penumbra, and then on the fringe of, on the edge of. So, yeah, he lives on the penumbra of the city, where it, is this still the city or is this another village? Um, and this is the idea of this word um, penumbra. Um, okay, so let, let me give you the um, astronomical definition. When there is an eclipse of the sun, you have a partial eclipse or a full eclipse. And if there's a full eclipse, then you are in the umbra, complete shade, you can't see the sun. But if there's a partial eclipse, you can see some of the sun, yeah? But everything is much darkened, and that is the technical meaning of penumbra. And all the dictionaries explain this one in great detail, but I think that's really not very useful from a language point of view. Okay, so the penumbra, the diffuse outer part of something, yeah? It's where something e exists, but to an uncertain degree. It's not clear, yeah, whether it's one thing or the other. Um, 
So, yeah, there is um, a penumbra, a penumbra of uncertainty about this. Um, I guess you could use penumbra to talk about shadowy. So, the um, criminal activities that take uh, place in uh, the penumbra, in the shadows, in the shade. I think it would be best that example would be better in the um penumbra of uncertainty about what the law says. And then we can use this to talk about the surrounding region. So or something that it almost qualifies. Um so for example, if you need to choose 20 candidates, there are 15 that are obviously good candidates. And then there are another 10 candidates that are on the penumbra. Maybe yes, maybe no. They're all much of a muchness. Okay, so the, this penumbra, this greyish marginal area, this outer part where there is uncertainty. And I think you can even use it to mean deep shade in the shadow, something that is hidden that you can't see. It's not completely dark. But it's pretty dark. Yeah, so an area of doubt, yeah. Um, uh, when w one, of, one of the problems with um, language and the meaning of words is very often it's very clear what the exact meaning of a word is. But there's very often a lot of penumbra where the word might be used or it might not be used. And students are perpetually in this penumbra yeah this gray area maybe i could use it here maybe i couldn't i don't really know it's not clear to me and this is the idea of penumbra okay so i hope i've helped you with those if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now penumbra